a few years back, David Cameron stands up in Parliament and says something like, full marks, to Jeremy Corbyn. And I thought, how childish. There's a whole psychology that you need to look at in David Cameron to explain why he would say something like that. I doubt Jeremy Corbyn is a Marxist or has any such views that could be called Marxist, whatever that would even mean. But it's so... It's like a sneering hyena just barking at a lion because he wants something he can't have. The Marxism is analytic method. The attack that people like to level against Marxism is that its ideology in as much as some sort of set of beliefs but that's not a Marxist position that's not Marxist position on what ideology is in fact, he never actually said, this is ideology, as such. Engels did, you can look it up in some of his letters. Engels describes ideology as people believing they are part of a process of production from beginning to end. It's uh, possible to look at that in terms of the addiction people have for their iPhones. The way that they unbox them, this ceremony. They are part of it, this thing. Obviously, they don't want to think about the part where 40 people live in a shed and get paid very little. But it has a very smug ego attachment. It's kind of like a baby feeling happy because he's taken a nice warm shit in his nappies. When Marx says the German ideology It means the way Germans think as a whole, as a nation. And so Germany is the example. You could go to any country. And it's very hard for anyone to think outside of certain boundaries that exist in that country. In fact, you can't. It's only recently that some of the failings of Western ideology have become apparent. Because it's a power structure, and you can't fight that power structure. But the power structure has taken something of a hit from this war with Russia. It's been proven to be somewhat false. So this way that a whole nation would think, and people think within that. If you look at the academia in the West, none of it conflicts with a hegemonic structure with the power structure. In fact, the way to get promoted 
is to support that power structure. Marxism is the same as some types of Buddhism. In Buddhism you have karma. Karma is the result of time and circumstance. The two are not necessarily distinguishable. In Marxism you have historical materialism. This means that the current situation is a result of the circumstances and events that have led up to it. So if you're going to analyse something, you look at it within this context. Of course, the modern phenomena is for politicians to pretend that nothing is real and nothing has any foundation and it, everything just pops up and manifests which is very convenient if you want to tell a different story the next day. But uh, it's not very convenient if you actually want to make some progress. If you want to make progress you have to look at why the situation has arisen. For example, cars. Every solution to the problem of cars involves cars. It never involves an alternative to cars. It involves traffic lights and roundabouts and then painting lines on roads to make out there's lanes where there isn't. Or apparently putting in bus lanes where they're not needed. Which is really only to try making money. So Marxism isn't popular because you might want to look at something in terms of a solution to the problem. But that has nothing to do with people in government who just see cars as a way of making money. Another particularly vile policy in the UK was the privatisation of ICA. Whereas in Russia they took the view that providing eye operations would reduce the cost for everybody and provide a good solution. In the UK the politicians decided and made it available to try and charge everybody £400 for a pair of glasses which just adds to how much money people have to earn which equates to more destruction of the planet but also there's just something very wrong with it and perhaps this is the thing with Marxism. It makes you realise there's something very wrong with that. And there's something very wrong with the people that want that. They are unable to face their own lack of morality. And the thing is that there is a choice and they choose the greed and they choose the selfishness 